Many months ago, on the east side between Bellevue and Kirkland in Clyde Hill, there was an 11-year-old girl with nothing to do. She was stuck at home, and Maya Shukla was bored. And then she had an idea. I had like so much more time on my hands, so I decided like um, maybe I can start bake a baking blog. And that's exactly what she did. She found a recipe and made it. She took a picture of it. Day one. And wrote about it. My first post, I wanted something special. I looked and looked, and finally I found this recipe about Pizel by Culinary Hill. Enjoy, the board baker. It was the beginning of a culinary odyssey. The board baker was born. And at first I saw it, I just like bake maybe like once a week or something. But then after like the first two days, I started like really like getting the hang of it. So then I uh, started baking every single day. She got on the computer and made a spreadsheet for recipes and ingredients. She scheduled her creations and went to work. When we visited her, she was making lavender scones. I guess it just makes me feel calm and makes me feel like I accomplished making this, I guess. She measures and cuts and pours and mixes and forms and bakes. Like, I think about it a lot. <laughs> um, like, how I'm going to make it, how I can improve it, and, like, what I need ingredient-wise. While we were interviewing Maya, her mom told her something wasn't right. Turns out... Uh, well, the wax paper started burning. Wax paper on fire. Another lesson learned for the board baker. Mom and dad, Dharma and Bina, have been impressed by their girl. Maya is spontaneous. She is energetic. I think she's she very creative. No matter what she's doing, even a TV interview, when the oven alarm goes off, the board baker bolts. Like I went upstairs and my sister thought the um, oven was... Uh, ready and <laughs> Maya watched YouTube videos about food photography and when her masterpieces are finished she stages the food and takes pictures for her blog they show up here the lavender scones mark the 138th consecutive day that Maya has cooked or baked or created something wonderful early on she only made desserts day four Clud Kaka, a Swedish sticky chocolate cake. Day 16, chocolate mousse tarts. But then her big sister, Anya, offered a suggestion. Having dessert every day was a little... I'm making a raspberry cake. I have a sweet tooth, but not that much of a sweet tooth, so I wanted something to kind of balance it out. So the board baker branched out. Day 29, lasagna. For this recipe, day 40, zatar manakish. It's a Lebanese flatbread with zatar. The day after the lavender scones, she crafted strawberry trifle, and it was a vision of summertime. And because there is such a thing as too many desserts, she went to a nearby park and met up with one of her 30 or so BoardBaker.com followers oh my goodness. and gave it away. Thank you That's so amazing. much. I subscribe when I when I got the very first uh, very first dessert. I was like, this is so cool, and I, I get pings on my computer every day from the board baker. <laughs> The next day, she made a gorgeous raspberry cake and dropped it off at a neighbor's home because the board baker is also a generous baker. One day, she made paneer tikka masala from her grandmother's recipe. On the 145th consecutive day of making something wonderful, she created pasta, focaccia bread, and cookies. And when she was finished, her mom drove her to a women's shelter, and she left her cooking there for some people who will enjoy something nice and homemade. She wants to go 365 straight days, and then maybe even more. Day 115. 4th of July cake. Day 130. Floral raindrop cake. This 11-year-old girl, just a kid, has done something extraordinary. She took this dark, sad time and turned it into something that is bright and alive. She taught herself how to bake and cook. She made a website, she made friends. And in the process, Maya Shukla, the board baker, learned something very important about herself. She learned that she can do anything.